Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please hit subscribe. I post new videos every Saturday. So I'm currently pregnant with my second baby boy due in June. I am 31 weeks pregnant as I'm filming this. So I wanted to do a little haul video showing you guys everything that I have right now for baby boy. So luckily I saved pretty much everything for my pregnancy with Liam so that we didn't need to go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff. There is still a few items that I need to purchase and um, some bigger items that we still have that I need to like clean and put together. So I'm planning on doing another updated version of this when I'm a little bit further along and that's when I'm going to go over those things. So the first part of this stuff is going to be the stuff that I have with Liam that I'm going to show you that I still have and I'm going to be using. And then the next part after that is going to be all of the new stuff that I bought. So, so the first thing I have is this baby carrier. So it's the one that kind of straps on like a backpack. It's in gray and um, it's the Infantino brand. So I got this one when I was pregnant with Liam. I literally never used it. He was a small baby and he has to be, I believe it was eight pounds. Yeah, so he had to be eight pounds in order to use this. And at the time that I wanted to use it, he wasn't eight pounds. And so I never ended up using it. We never really went anywhere and he loved his swing. So I never needed to like baby wear him around the house or anything like that. Anytime we went anywhere, he was in his car seat, so I really never used it. So that's something that I may use with baby number two. If not, that's fine, but we have it if we need it. So the next baby wearing thing that we have is the Moby wrap. So this is also in gray, and this I did use once or for one event. So when Liam was seven weeks old, we took a trip to Canada, which is where Roger's kids live. And so I was on my maternity leave, they were on summer break, and it was a perfect time to go down there. And so I did end up using this the entire time. He loved it, it was so convenient. I don't remember where I got this from. I think I got it off like a Moby Wrap website. And I think it was like $45, but I can't remember. This, again, this is, I got this like, all of these items I got like three years ago. My son is gonna be three in July, so I got these when I was pregnant with him. But this Moby Wrap was something that I definitely use. But I, again, I never baby wore him around the house or anywhere else. Uh, just that trip to Canada, we used this a ton. The next thing that I have is this My Breast Friend pillow. So this one was a gift from Roger's aunt. Uh, I had the Boppy pillow, which is pretty worn out now. I use that a ton. And that was good, but I felt like I was constantly like hunched over because I couldn't keep him held in that position for a really long time. This one had a ton of support and I loved it. It was so much easier to breastfeed on this. I do not like the cover that is on here. This is the one she gave me. So I will be getting a new cover for the next baby. So that's one of the things that I have to get still, but the pillow, I definitely recommend. It was amazing. I'm also gonna be getting the boppy pillow again, the normal boppy pillow that you know wraps around your waist. The one that we have is really broken down and worn out and I'm just, I'm not gonna use that one. I'd rather just get a new one. So once I get that, that'll be in my next updated video of this. So next we have the boppy lounger. So this little guy right here, we used this a ton. He loved this. It was definitely used. It's kind of worn out too. I, we could get a new one, but they're like 40 bucks and this one's perfectly fine. This is the original, like it doesn't have a cover on it at all. It's like the original pattern. And so we are gonna be getting a cover to go over this just because I can't, it's been sitting in our garage and I can't wash it really. So I'm just gonna get a cover to put over it so it can stay clean that way. So also my background is a little bit new because we put Liam's little dresser right here because we added the new baby's dresser where Liam's dresser used to go. If you watched my pregnancy tag video, then you would know that my in-laws do live with us with their son. So we have a three bedroom house. They're using two of the bedrooms and we have our bedroom. So we have me, Roger, Liam, Ed, and the new baby are all gonna be sleeping in this room. All our stuff is gonna be in this room. So I had to figure out a way to make it work. So we have Liam's bed right here now, and we have his dresser right here, and the new baby's dresser is right over there. So it's just that little white box with, you know, the little square baskets. I got him the exact same one, just with different baskets. His are gray and white. 
I went through all of Liam's old clothes from newborn all the way up to three months just to see like what we had if I needed to get anything else and I knew I had a lot of clothes for him but I didn't realize how many so he is pretty much set on clothes there is a couple of things that I want to get just because I find them more convenient like the uh, onesies with the mitten cuffs those ones I only have like three of those that I had with Liam and I love those he would never keep his mittens on and he would always be scratching at his face so those ones were amazing and I don't have very many of those so I want to get a couple more and yeah that is completely filled with all of his clothes from newborn size up to three months um, as well as like swaddles and stuff but yeah that's a ton of clothes so I don't really want to go through all of that unless anyone wants me to film that I can put that in my next updated video but all of the new stuff that I get I'm definitely going to be sharing on that updated video so the next item we have is a baby monitor so we never actually got a legit baby monitor so what we did is we got a security camera and this one is from the brand Rio link we got this one off Amazon I don't think it was very expensive I think he said he spent like a hundred bucks on it it's amazing so it hooks up to your Wi-Fi you have to plug it into the wall so it's not portable but it has an app where you download the app on your phone and you can literally move the lens pretty much almost 360 degrees and you can chain up, down, it has an automatic sensor so when the lights go off it turns infrared and has night mode and you can even turn audio on if you wanted to, you can turn it off, you can talk through it, all through your phone. So as long as you know this is attached to your Wi-Fi and you can be at the store, you can be at work, you can be anywhere and just go to the app and it just like goes right to it. It's amazing. You don't have to be stuck to this little monitor that they give you for a baby monitor that you know doesn't work as soon as you leave the house. It's just on your phone. It's a security camera. It's pretty good quality. Like we've been using this with Liam and we love it. So the last thing that we already have this is the Owlet monitor. So this is the little sock that goes on their foot and monitors their heartbeat and their oxygen level while they're sleeping. And this thing, I'm telling you, not even just for first time moms, but for any mom out there, if I could recommend one thing for your baby, it is this. This Owlet monitor was amazing. I remember when I brought him home and I was so scared. I was constantly jumping up in the middle of the night looking at him just to see if he's breathing. If you're a new mom, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was a little bit hard for me at first to decide to make this purchase because it is $300. It's very expensive. But it was the best purchase that I had ever made. And I'm hoping it still works. I don't see why it wouldn't still work. But yeah, I would put that on his foot every single night. It was, I'm not going to lie, there was a time we were having problems with our internet. It would just like randomly go out during the middle of the night. And so it is connected to Wi-Fi, again to an app to your phone. So it alerts your phone, but it also has the base station that is, I believe it, I don't remember exactly, I believe it's like blue or green, like when it's just normal, and then it turns yellow and it like beeps at you when um, your internet connection is going down or if the baby's moving and it's just a bad connection basically. And then it turns red if his oxygen or his heart rate drop drastically. On the app there's like a baseline on it and it tells you like if it drops below this level then it's going to alert you so the yellow alert did go off a few times in the middle of the night and it like it wakes you up and it scares you at first and but that was just because of our internet it kept on getting disconnected from the internet so that was a little bit irritating but it was so worth it there was one time that we got a red alert and it was his oxygen was dropping it was like in the 80s I believe I don't remember exactly it alerted us that his oxygen dropped and as soon as I heard that red alert, like I had gotten kind of used to hearing the yellow alert go off and I kind of would almost tune it out to the point where I was afraid if a red alert did go off, I would be, you know, just tuning it out. But no, it was completely different. I heard it and I just immediately freaked out. And when I, you know, I checked it and I picked him up and I made sure everything was okay. Luckily, he was totally fine. Um, he, I picked him up and I don't know if I had to wake him up or something, but it went right back up and that never happened again it was the only time but I can't help but think if I didn't know that that had happened and I didn't pick him up and kind of wake him up a little bit 
who knows what could have happened. You know what I mean? So this is the best peace of mind I can ever recommend to any parent. It is about $300, so it's very expensive, but in my opinion, definitely worth it. Okay, so now I'm gonna be showing you guys all of the new stuff that I got. So at my work, they offer us a flex spending account. So basically, my employer gives us $200 to put on it, and you can either add more to it or you can use just that. I did add like $1,400 to it, just so I had enough money to cover any kind of expenses that I might need. I did know I was going to be making this big purchase, so that was the main reason that I put all this money onto it, because it was FSA eligible. So everything I'm about to show you right now, I did buy with my FSA card. So, so the first thing I got, I'm very, very excited about. This is something that since before I got pregnant, this is something I really wanted to try. That is the Willow Breast Pump. So I'm so excited to try this out. I really hope it's everything that I'm getting my like hopes up for. If you don't know what it is, it's basically two pumps and they are shaped like boobs. So you put them inside your bra and you can literally walk around with your baby. You can, you know, go outside, you can go to the store, you can do dishes, you can clean your house, all while you're pumping. So when I had Liam, when I was trying to pump, I literally felt like I was stuck in my room. I had to be stuck to a wall and I'm just sitting here holding the little pumps while I'm just feeling like a cow. Like it, I hated it. I hated pumping with him. I was always had to be stuck in my room and I had to go high. I couldn't clean my house or something. I hated it. And so this gives mom the freedom to do anything she wants to do while she's pumping. And I am so excited to try it. You have no idea. So I did get Generation 3. It did just come out. It came out in March, I believe. I was originally going to just buy the Gen 2. And then I saw that in spring they were going to release Gen 3. So I waited to buy it because I was so excited. I wanted to buy it right away. But I waited and as soon as I saw that Gen 3 was released, I did buy it. So it comes with two pumps. Unfortunately, it does only come with one charger. So I did buy a second charger just because I feel like it's going to take twice as long to charge if you have to just charge one at a time. So I did buy a second charger for it. It also comes with special bags. So they're like these circle bags that you stuff into the pump. And you can't use any other bag with it. You have to use the Willow pump bags and they're very expensive it's like 24 it comes with like 24 bags and you need two per pump session so you're basically getting 12 pump sessions out of it and they're like 20 dollars per 24 bags or something crazy like that and so the bags are expensive um so i did get the reusable container that they offer this was about 50 dollars um you just put this on instead of the bags and so you can just pour your milk out directly from here and just wash it and reuse it. So you don't have to keep spending all your money on the bags. It does come with, yeah, it comes with 24 bags already. So if I want to use bags, I already have them. Unfortunately, that does have to come separately. So yeah, the pump was about $4.99, I think. So about $500 plus the um, reusable container and the charger. Uh... And I also got one of their special nursing bras so that I feel like it was like more designed for holding the pump so I wouldn't have to like struggle with a bra to fit it. And the bra I think was like 20, around $20 I think, I can't remember exactly. But I ended up spending on all of that, it was like $700 out the door. It was like, it was like $714 I believe is what I ended up spending out the door which is ridiculous. And if I did not have my FSA card, I would not have made that purchase at all because that's insane. But that's what I have my card for and I don't regret the purchase, at least not yet. I haven't obviously been able to use it yet, but I'm so excited to try it. And I do wanna do a review on it if anyone's interested. Once I start using it, I wanna do a review. Let you know if it's actually what it's hyped up to be or what, at least what I'm hyping it up to be. The next thing I got were nursing pads. Um, I don't think I really use these very much with Liam. I kind of struggled with my milk supply, so I never really had any issues with my milk just like randomly leaking out. But again, I'm planning on pumping right away to build up my supply. And so I do have nursing pads in case I do end up leaking. So next I got these Lansano 
breast milk storage bags. Um, these are 50 bags, so I got four containers of them. And so I have 200 bags, so that should be good for a while. But yeah, so these are just like the average milk storage bags um, that I can pour from the reusable container into here and then put them in the freezer. So, so along with storing my breast milk, I got this little freezer container. So this I saw on the FSA store that I got all this other stuff. So it looks like you just place it on this little tray to freeze it. And then you put it inside this little box basically. And then you pull out from the bottom. So it'll have the oldest milk on the bottom and you just pull it out and it keeps everything really organized and stacked up in your freezer. So this might be pretty handy. I didn't have anything like that with Liam, so we'll see how that works. So another thing I got for the pump is the Medela Quick Clean Breast Pump Accessory Sanitizer. So this is supposed to, you're supposed to be able to spray it on and it sanitizes it. I'm not exactly sure. It says it kills 99.9% .9 of germs um, and it's supposed to be easy for pumps, breast, par breast pump parts, and baby bottles. No harsh chemicals, gentle enough to clean nurseries, no rinse, no wipe, leaves, no residue. So we'll see how that works. I thought that might be kind of easy for when I go back to work if I need to clean my pump really quick because it's just going to be the reusable container. So I don't know. We'll see how that works. So the next thing that I got was a nipple shield. So when I had Liam at the hospital, they gave me a nipple shield because I was having a hard time with him getting a good latch. I had to use the nipple shield every time he nursed until he stopped nursing anymore. I never was able to get him on my bare nipple. He just wouldn't latch on it. But he did latch on the nipple shield. And so I did get another nipple shield. The first one I got with Liam was Medela. This one is Lansino. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be any different, but I don't know if I'm gonna be needing this. I got it just in case though, because I'm sure the hospital will provide me with one like they did last time if I need one. But in case they don't, I got my own. So the next thing we got was the Nose Farida. I got the same one with Liam and it worked so good. I love this thing. It looks disgusting. You suck out, you literally are sucking out the boogers from their nose, but it worked really good. And I still have one from Liam, but I, even though I clean it, I feel like it's kind of gross to reuse it on a different child. So I got a new one. So the last thing that we got was a little, pacifier medicine tube thing so I have a very similar one for Liam except his is like in a miniature like baby bottle and that is the only way I can get him to take medicine that thing is incredible I've tried the syringes he won't take it so it's like this little baby bottle with like the nipple on it and you pour the medicine in there it has a little measuring cup and they just suck out of it like a bottle and so I figured, you know, he can still use that one, but this one's in like a pacifier form. And so I figured for, you know, a baby, this would be perfect. So I did pick this up, but that is it for this video. And if you like it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.